So I'm working in my kitchen one day and I get a message on Instagram saying, Chef, I'd like your home address, please. I need to send you something. Well, a few weeks later, I received the most amazing cookbook from an incredible cook and chef, right? So today I'm going to be cooking a super coastal Karnatak recipe from her book. That's coming up. If you find value in what we do, then consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon to stay notified whenever we make a new upload. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Aditya Bal and welcome to my kitchen where I share with you some of my favorite recipes, tips, tricks and know-how to help you become a better cook. Today, I'm super excited because as I was saying, I'm going to be cooking an incredible recipe from this amazing cookbook. Okay, this is not a promotion of any kind. I just was lucky enough to receive this amazing book called Coconut Grove, Exploring Coastal Flavors by Deepika Shetty. All right, it's full of the most incredible coastal uh, recipes from Mangalore and Kundapur and the west, the coast of Karnataka. It's a cuisine I absolutely love and today we are going to be making a super simple but authentic prawn curry from her book. So I'm super excited. Without further ado, let's check out our ingredients. So super excited to be making this lovely Mangalorean prawn gussi or prawn curry from my friend Deepika Shetty's amazing cookbook, The Coconut Grove. Let's take a look at our ingredients. Half a fresh coconut, half a kg of fresh prawns, 15 to 16 bedaki chilies, for color and flavor, a couple of onions and a few cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of black peppercorns, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a tablespoon of coriander seeds, a fourth of a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds or methi seeds and salt. So we're gonna start by prepping our fresh prawn. So we're gonna take the head off. Then next we take off the shell, de-shell them. Okay, but I'm keeping the tail on and then we need to devein them. So one neat cut down the back of the prawn and then just remove that vein from the prawn. Right, so we are just finishing prepping our prawns. All right, for our lovely gussi, prawn gussi. <laughs> okay, if you like, you can buy your prawns deveined and shelled. All right, uh, I'm using white prawns over here, but you should try and use whatever fresh prawns you can get your hands on. All right, so prawns are done. Put them into the fridge, keep them nice and cold. Next thing you want to do is just chop up our coconut into small pieces now to a hot pan we're gonna add our lovely bedaki chilies along with our peppercorns cumin coriander and fenugreek seeds and just dry roast everything together until the spices are lightly browned and the chilies are really nice and smoky and aromatic that smells so lovely right so we've dry roasted our chilies and our spices and they are smelling absolutely incredible okay so now we're just going to transfer them to a grinder add our fresh coconut turmeric and grind it with a little bit of water to a nice coarse paste let's grind that masala right so a little bit of water to our grinder or grinding jar So as you can see, we've ground it for a couple of minutes and everything now, the coconut and chili spices are roughly broken down. So a little more water and then just grind it down 
until you have a nice coarse paste yeah a little more water and grind look at that perfect nice semi smooth paste but it's still got a little bit of body and look at that wonderful rust red deep color from the chilies Oof, incredible Oof. and really really hot and sharp from those oh bedeki chilies okay now all we need to do is cook our prawns with the onions and then add our masala balance ingredients cook it out temper it and we are done so prawns done ground masala paste done now we're just going to slice a couple of onions for the base of the curry and then finally dice half an onion for our tempering just into fine dice next thing we want to do is take our entire head of garlic and just crush it with the back of a heavy knife and then we're just going to crush about 8 to 10 cloves of garlic with the peel on to fry up to golden brown for our tempering this is just super rustic and delicious right so we finished with our prep and now it's time for us to make a prawn gassi this is going to be super So to our heavy cooking vessel we're going to start by adding and heating up our oil. In go our sliced onions. Just going to saute them until they've softened. Okay. So, a little bit of salt and just saute for a couple of minutes until they have begun to turn translucent. Now to our pan we are going to add our prawns Lovely. in go the prawns a good teaspoon of salt in that goes and now just gently stir the onions and the prawns together So our prawns and onions are now lightly fried together smelling absolutely wonderful to this mixture of prawns and onions we're going to add our ground masala and just mix it in and make sure everything is nice and mixed together look at that that is smelling amazing okay so just cook it for a couple of minutes together just to let the prawn absorb some of that masala those flavors then to this we're going to add our tamarind extract It's going to give a lovely sour and typically kind of coastal punch to our gassi. Okay, just mix it together, cook it for a couple of minutes. Now, to our prawn curry or our base for our curry, we're going to add about half a liter or so, maybe more of water. Just mix it in over a medium heat. We're going to bring it to a boil and then we need to cook it out. So, a little more water and bring it to a boil. Right so our gassi is coming to a boil just going to cover it and let it cook away on a medium heat for a good i think 8 to 10 minutes or until the masala is nicely cooked out so our gassi has been cooking away for a good 8 to 10 minutes and i have to tell you i can't wait to see exactly what's going on inside that pan okay let's check on it Oof. That smells absolutely incredible. That masala is now cooking away along with those prawns and the onions. So we're just going to cover it and let it simmer away for 10 to 12 minutes to cook it out nicely. Right. So it's been about 10 to 12 minutes. Time to check on our lovely prawn gassi. Yeah, some of that rawness is now disappearing okay i'm just going to give it a quick taste right so we added just a little more of that sourness of the tamarind to our gassi okay and i have to tell you it is now smelling and tasting really really good i think we want to cook it through for another maybe 
seven to eight minutes okay just so that all of those spices cook out nicely okay and everything comes together and in the meantime i think let's fry up our onions and garlic for our tadka so into our hot oil go our finely diced onions along with our whole garlic cloves with their peel on and now we just want to fry them on a medium high heat until they are lovely golden brown right so our garlic and our onions have now begun to brown nicely they're just going to add so much depth yeah and so much kind of contrast of flavor to our prawn gussy this is absolutely incredible okay i am going to just turn it off Oh my god that is just absolutely incredible that is beautifully cooked out as you can see all of that oil has risen to the top and that masala has taken on a nice deep red color so our gussy is done we're just going to check the prawns perfect super soft they've absorbed all of those flavors beautifully all right as you can see all of that oil has now risen to the top to this Yes, in goes our lovely sizzling hot browned onion and garlic. That's going to give such a wonderful flavor and depth to our gussy. So we're just going to stir it in and just continue to simmer our gussy for a few minutes just to thicken it up and amalgamate all those flavors. That is ready to serve. Absolutely stunning. Wow. So just serve your delicious prawn gussy and enjoy it with like i said neer dosa steamed rice ghee dosa idiyapam any which way you like even your malabari parotha well that my friends is my version of this incredible recipe from my friend deepika shetty's book and i hope we have done it justice okay so i'm just going to give it a quick taste cuz quite frankly i can't wait to taste it mm. wow that is punchy you've got that heat of the chili still coming through um spices are cooked out the fenugreek now coming through nicely along with that kind of kick of the tamarind and what i really like about uh, this technique is that you really kind of cooking the prawns and all of those flavors of the masala have gone right through those beautiful fresh prawns uh, it's different from the way we cook in the north it's different from the way we cook in other parts of the country where our masalas are always bhunoed out first and then the ingredients are added to it in this case it's much more subtle um with the boiling out of the masalas and the ground paste along with the rest of our ingredients superb so thanks a lot deepika for sharing this recipe all right and um keep cooking and to all of you as well i hope you enjoyed this recipe and uh, if you enjoy the kind of content that we are bringing you on this channel then do consider subscribing uh, liking and of course sharing our content i'm going to see you next time with lots more super recipes like these but till then happy cooking